to the 2023 NSL Globals here at Real Strike Arena. Happy to offer the closest season to say the least. So we can be no different either, as we have the best teams in the world under one roof. Our viewers say with East Coast Energy, who finished first in their league. The CGB Bros, who finished first in the Spanish Here we go here from Sac County Airsoft in Sacramento, California. I just want to wish all the teams that are battling the Globals uh, best of luck to y'all. So let's have some good battles and best of luck to all you guys out there. Peace out. The movement going on here. going to be hard to follow. Young one trades out with Kodak and the Snake. It's going to allow the numbers game for TD to get the kill on Zeus. TD moves up the field. Final 10 seconds. Creep for second to none. Creeping up in the snake. And here comes a whip flash from the flexi side up and up in the center. Isolation. Zero play. Lost so many lives here on the way. Or can you fill up my energy and revive them in my memory? I feel it in my bones. Oh, yeah. Need to hold out. It looks like they're preparing to do so. That's been a good time and super proud of the boys. They've been playing real hard and learning and trying new things, you know, because today's kind of practice. They're getting some points well, and they're the doing boys have played here before right. and you know, turf is a new experience for the rest of the team, so they're they're all adjusting and really playing for the first time. You know, seventy percent of the team being on turf for the first time. It's it's a learning curve, and, right? And, and playing new teams. It. You know, they've never played yeah, any of these teams. Different types of teams too. Um, I think they're doing great. Um, you know, tomorrow we'll see what tomorrow brings. Yeah. Seconds and none, the one street comes to an end. Well, good morning. Welcome to day two of the NSL Globals here at Real Strike Arena for 2023. Golden day here. Some close games already ensued yesterday. We are moments away from seeing who climbs to the top as our global champions here on Holy Sunday. Um, I've talked to one of your teammates. He mentioned that this has just been a learning experience and a lot of things have changed recently with yeah, the yeah. team overall. So just tell us what's going on. Uh, so at the start of the weekend, like we are, I think it was our first three games were very, very shaky. We won our first one, but then lost our next two and everything was really kind of all over the place, I won't lie. Um, but I brought my boy Kyle over from Legion. Uh, so we've got a bit of a Legion section on crossover going at the minute. And we drew plans up and it, we've just been smashing it since then. Like everyone's, it, it, everyone's found their spot now. Everyone's killing it. And so far, yeah, the weekend's looking real good. Yeah, I feel like uh, as far as preparation is concerned, we've played how we wanted to. Uh, some moments felt like we kind of ran out of time. Like we started clicking and gelling and forcing players where we wanted to. And uh, we just didn't have the moment to kind of cap off the games. Uh, so going into the quarterfinals, I know the games are going to be a little bit longer. Uh, teams are going to be more prepared and ready to go. So uh, as we should be as well, uh, we're locked in. We're just coming to fucking kill you. Like, we're ready. We're ready. We're ready now. We've, we've, we've done our trial phase. We're fucking ready. We're coming to fucking kill you. All of you. It's worth mentioning it is cold here today for the players. A whopping uh, 10 degrees Celsius. And knowing that the field is damp, it'll definitely impact these players. First match already underway here. Wolves again attacking from the right. Again, 15 minutes now on the clock. CQ Bros making a good connection, getting Ecos off the break.
to where we're very comfortable with Bert and crew and everybody that's here. And we know a lot of people here in Europe now, which is also mind blowing that we have friends in Europe. Yep. And it's, you know, it's pretty amazing to see how big airsoft is actually getting yeah. throughout the world. And everybody that's here, I'm glad to see that Real Strike has the same family that Extreme has back home. And, uh, don't start we, crying. I'm not going to Don't cry. cry. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> Don't cry. I, I really know that back home right now, there's a ton of people watching ECE play here in Europe and very proud of just us representing the United States. <laughs> It's definitely been intense. Some of the most intense gameplay we've seen uh, throughout the season. So uh, kudos to you guys for really, uh, I mean, you guys have to be on your A game, right? Yeah, it's a lot yeah. different than playing usually. Like this whole refing is just like, there's so much more to do to it. But you also learn a lot from the refing as well. So that's why I think it's really good that these guys get in people to ref and experience it themselves. So you can see how it is like from a player and a rush perspective. Yeah, good luck <laughs> to all the teams and let's get it. Let's get a good day. Right on, let's get it. Representing the United States. Yep. I'm really proud of these guys. Yeah. And who knew that Airsoft would bring us to Europe? It's like, this is, this is already the coolest thing ever. So. <laughs> Heat 19, match 36, the final Savior! battle of the year. Saviors versus second to none.
yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> um, East Coast Energy. Yep. For the Nations Cup. Globals. Globals. For Globals, excuse me. <laughs> I mean, Mr. DeVos and Zal Boris, give him a big applause. Yeah. <laughs>